Canals have been a big part of Birmingham for over the past 200 years. So what part do they play now in a modern Birmingham? I aim to find out with this documentary. What and why canals are still here? One of the first stops in the documentary is meeting with Nick from the River Canal Trust and talking to him about what he does in Birmingham for the canals. To work with transport, um, other transport organisations such as SUSTRANS or um, the cycling um, groups to see if we can't open our towpaths up to, alternative, to use as alternative means of transport for people who don't want to be dicing to death with traffic um, and, and want a different route to cycle to work or cycle to uh, to enjoy really. Um, so cycling, walking, health and fitness, volunteering, uh, community kind of engagement and community use are all the new uh, or relatively recent kind of um, drivers really for what kind of real trust do. And then in the background we obviously still carry on and maintain the waterway and work with boaters and others um, to, to kind of keep the waterways open for what was their primary use. While on the canals, we met with Tony and Jane Robinson who were kind enough to let us on their canal boat and talked to us about the perks of living on the canals compared to in a house. On the canal boat then compared to like your... Come on Jane, what are the perks? <laughs> it's quiet. Well, it's quiet and peaceful and you're so close to nature mm. and wildlife and it's something different. You just untie your house and go off on holiday, stay still in your house. Mm. And people are very friendly as well. Yeah, uh, I found that, baby, yeah. Yeah, if you talk to any sort of boat um, person that lives on a boat or anybody on the canals, people say it's like a linear community now. So mm. when, whenever we go anywhere, we know the canal. I, own, I know where we are in the country by what canal we're at, not necessarily what road we are. <laughs> we'll go over a jump and say, oh yeah, I know where we are, by the canals. Um, The canals in Birmingham still offer quite an industry and I was lucky enough to meet with Leighton who works for Black Prince. They specialise in canal boat holidays across the Midlands. Right, 20, just under 30 of our own boats. Yeah. Um, but about seven of those have been sold already. So at the start of the holiday season, uh, in a couple of weeks time, those boats will be delivered to their new owners. Um, and the boat that we've just been on now looking at will be its replacement. Hmm. Yeah, we'll put uh, dining tables and armchairs on here, like yeah. dining armchairs, footstools. We build one boat each month. Yeah. yeah. It's quite a good yeah, it is. If you remember on the boat that we were on, the kitchen was on the on the left hand side as we were looking up. So obviously all the weight is on there. So you'll see here we've left out some slabs there to compensate for that extra weight because the bathroom is also on that side as well. While at Black Prince we also realised that the canals were a means of transport rather than just a holiday or a home and that many people use them every day just to get from one place to another. And Preston, uh, we've been across the Ribble Estuary, mm -hmm. um, uh, we've been to Manchester, um, we've been to Liverpool, um, Chester, we've been right across to North Wales, Langothan. Um, we used to, the boat used to be at Derby, we used to live near Derby. Yeah. Uh, we've been all the way down here to London <laughs> <laughs> and we've been all the way down to there to Godalming on River Way, that's as far south as you can get. That's the central London, that is Paddington, Paddington Basin, right next to Paddington Station. And you can walk there. Um, yeah, that's uh, this is when we went out on the on the River Thames. Because it's tidy, you see, so you have to go with uh, the VHF radio. Yeah. Um, canals don't offer just a means of transport or a home. Many people also use them for jobs and businesses, alongside a new platform for audiences. The club isn't the best place to find a lover, so the bar is where I go. Me and my friends at the table doing shots, drinking fast and then we talk slow. You come over and start up a conversation with just me and trust me I'll give it a chance. Take my hand, stop but then the volunteer with us. The volunteer lock keeper scheme, uh, the towpath task force or adopting a stretch of canal. 
In order to find out about all of these opportunities, uh, the best place to start is on our website. Um, so if you just Google Canal and River Trust, um, you'll come to our website and go on the section on volunteering. And there are pages with all the information you need. This documentary has really gave me an insight into why canals are still here in Birmingham, whether they're being used for business or travel, or even offering a home for entertainment. There are still many uses in Birmingham for the canals. Tell the driver, make the radio play, and I'm singing like, Girl, you know I want your love, your love was handmade for somebody like me. Come on now, follow my lead. I may be crazy, don't mind me, say boy, let's not talk too much. Grab on my waist and put that body on me. Come on now, follow my lead. Come, come on now, follow my lead. Oh, come on, be my baby, come on. 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 Come on, be my baby.